Hey guys, Rafi here from the End Game Investor with a new Sunday edition of Rafi Responds to Stupid Idiotic Comments on YouTube. I've got some good ones today, and I'm not saying they're not true. I'm just saying they're stupid, but you can be both stupid and true, as we'll see, because every one of these comments is completely accurate. That's accurate. And as a quick reminder, the Endgame Investor is moving to Substack. I will still publish on Seeking Alpha for those who are subscribed there. But if you want to move to Substack, it will be slightly cheaper because I don't have to pay Israeli VAT taxes on it. And it's also, I think, a better platform and allows me to write about more topics than just finance. So if you want to subscribe there, you can do so for free at endgameinvestor.substack.com. All paid subscribers by the end of January will get a chance to win a free dirty man safe to bury your gold or silver or anything else, dead bodies, etc., alien space gods or whatever else you want to bury out there. And you'll see why I said that in a second. I will be writing there three times a week as I do with my market update from an Austrian school economics perspective on the gold and silver and banking situation. So I hope to see you there and I look forward to writing all kinds of stuff. Last week's article was on the myth of silver demonetization. You can see it there or down in the link in the description below and enter into a chance to win a free dirty man safe. And of course, if you lose, which most of you will, you can buy a Dirty Man Safe at DirtyManSafe.com and use the code ENDGAME10 for 10% off. It's just the nature of raffles. Anyway, let's go on with today's stupid comments. This week's first stupid comment comes from Freedom for All 581, made two days ago about Mario Monaco 64, kind of schmicing him for uh, advocating keto and a diet, which is like very relevant to what we were talking about, which was the basis trade. So I applaud Freedom for All for the relevance here, and he's getting the attention that he wants. So good for you. Monaco 64 absolutely hates truth when he brings up eating keto as if it's healthy, which has been proven to be actually lethal. You hear that, Mario? Keto is lethal, which is why you're not actually alive right now. And when I emphasize that I don't care, he continues, what you eat but a whole food plant-based diet is the healthiest thing on earth for humans to eat. I was blocked even though I have actual evidence to prove everything I'm saying is true. Actually, freedom for all, 5A1. I think you were blocked because you were annoying. Want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> but... Uh, I'm just guessing. Not to mention those who have the very strict, who have been very strict with their diet, moving totally on to plants and they have cancer. Their cancer a lot of times goes away completely. Well, you've proven that. That's nice. And uh, maybe something's wrong with your brain for commenting like this on an unrelated topic. Uh, do you have a completely plant-based diet? Are you getting enough vitamin B and protein? Uh, maybe your brain is rotting a little bit. But heaven forbid, he continues, he allowed the truth to be spoken on his channel when he brings up the subject. Well, Mario, shame on you. I respond, this is so extremely relevant that it shines like radioactive goo in an alley full of dark matter. Please continue barfing your wisdom at us in chunks. Oh, but it gets so much better. This one concerns my friend, my good friend Cliff High, who has been on this channel before, and I allowed him to say anything he wanted, and I invite him back to talk about whatever he wants. He believes, Cliff High, that Jews worship flesh-eating space aliens. Some unknown time in the past that exceeds 6,000 years, a group of approximately a quarter of a million space aliens landed on Earth. Do you believe this literally? Correct. This is factual. Okay. I must now return to my home on the planet Zarkon. Okay, well, have fun. Thanks. <laughs> oh, say hi to Anne Esther for me. Oh, yeah. If you read the Hebrew for the Torah and the description of what's going on, there is uh, um, 613 commandments, not 10. They describe dealing I, with I, the I know that. It's called Tariag Mitzvahs. But like, ju just, but, just but, to ask but, you a quick question, can you read Hebrew? Uh, I don't want to get into it. I'd rather not. not okay, okay so... So my, my I can, so I'm just... I, I understand. <laughs> okay, over my life, I've taken a lot of psychedelic drugs. Uh, and so this guy commented and wants me to be honest, which I am being. 
Mountain Man 78230 comments two days ago. Rafi, you had better go to listen to Cliff High's latest podcast from today, especially because he starts talking about you and the subject of Judaism generally. You had better start getting honest about your religion, buddy, because he knows what he's talking about. And I respond, I'll be honest. I worship flesh-eating space aliens. You have the truth. Good job. Cliff High is one of those guys that makes anti-Semitism fun. I really enjoy him. I enjoy listening to him sometimes when I want a good laugh. And I get a little nervous because I know he's telling the truth. I mean, to tell you the truth, it's all over Hollywood. We've been saying it for years. We worship space aliens, flesh-eating space aliens. Um, it's all over the Jewish Hollywood world. I mean, we're not even trying to hide it. It's like hidden in plain sight. Jews in space! 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 So yeah, what, what was it? We um, on Passover we eat the blood of Christian babies in our matzah. That was true, and I think uh, we have horns, right? Yeah, I I, I shave them down with like a, a file, and uh, we also worship flesh eating space aliens. <laughs> I'm serious. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Anyway, this guy continues. Sarcasm. I, I mean, I said I was honest and he's right. Sarcasm doesn't become you and Cliff's premise will not be disproven simply because it sounds outrageous. Over my life, I've taken a lot of psychedelic drugs. What sounds a lot more outrageous is leading the Christian Old Testament scriptures, even taking them at face value and concluding that Yahweh was God. That's what's outrageous, Rafi. And it's not even honest. Elohim is a plural word, even if Jews would deny it. I respond again. I was being honest. Whatever Cliff High says is true. He knows everything. Yeah, we're all gods. And you know, I, I can't win. If I deny it, they say I'm denying it. If I say it's true, they say I'm being sarcastic. It's like, what can you do? But when anti-Semitism gets this fun, we know we're on the verge of the end game because it's awesome. And no, I don't have a problem with anti-Semites and anti-Semitism. It's just a thing. And Cliff... You can come back on here and talk about whatever you want. I already invited you. Anyway, on to the next comment. What is that thing on Rafi's head? A potholder? I respond, it's a keeper, but it could be used as a potholder. And he responds, major pain 8373, by the way. I did not know that. Thanks, Rafi. Well, that comment wasn't stupid. That was nice. I just don't want him to think that I thought his comment was stupid just because he appears in this series. It was a nice comment. I appreciate it. This is not a potholder. It's a keeper. If you put a pot on my head, you could call me a pothead. See? It works perfectly. You guys want to smoke a bowl or... Oh. But the truth is, we put it there to hide the horns. Which, you know, sometimes the file doesn't get it all, so you really got to, like, make sure that you've got a pot holder there. And if you really want to cover it, you got to, like, be honest about it and put a pot on your head. Anyway, let's continue. Today's final stupid comment comes from Danny Oyo, uh, and that was made yesterday, and it says, see that comment about Yemen. This is how they think of Muslims. Not real. He's referring to an interview I had with the uh, vice speaker of the House of Israel, Moshe Faglin, where he was talking about the Western world uh, losing population and birth rates declining below replacement levels. But this is not true in Yemen, but he kind of discounted Yemen because he said it's not a real country. And he says, oh, well, that's what we think of all Muslims, not real. So I respond, go Yemen, Yemen number one. We all love Yemen. Who doesn't love Yemen? I didn't say anything about Yemen. He said something about Yemen. Yemen is awesome. Nobody finds Yemen funny. Yemen. <laughs> anyway... It was fun doing this week's edition of Rafi Responds to Stupid Comments. If you would like your comment to be responded to, make sure it's really idiotic or genius or something in between, which really includes everything because I don't want to discriminate against people. Now, if you excuse me, I have to dive into my space alien gods. I'll see you guys in a few days. And if you want to know what the space alien gods of the Torah, of the Jews, have to say about monetary policy and economic policy and government, 
then sign up to be my patron on Patreon for as little as $3 a month at patreon.com slash endgameinvestor. Link in the description below, and you can have the inside scoop on the alien flesh-eating space gods. On this week's Patreon message from the alien Hebrew space gods, we have when it is appropriate to fight back against the man, against the government, and when it is more appropriate to hide, duck, and cover and let the evil pass. There are very important nuances here for those who would like to fight to know when the right time to fight them is. It has to do with hints from God, which you can see in your life if you pay attention to them closely enough. And here, no, I'm not talking about the alien space gods. I'm talking about actual God, of which there is only one. And... I will see you guys next week for the next edition of Rafi Responds to Stupid Idiotic Comments on YouTube. When Goyle attack us, we give him a smack, we'll slap him right back in the face.